Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are passionate about Java and Spring Boot, you are in the right place. Today I am going to explore the bin validation enhancement in the latest release of Spring Boot 3.4. If we talked about that what is the new enhancement that is released in the 3.4, so I have trying to point out those points in a some key points. Like these are the five points that I am depicted over here. Using this, I am going to explain that what are the basically key enhancement in the bin validation of 3.4. So, in previous version of Spring Boot, validations of nested properties within at the rate configuration properties classes could be a bit unpredictable. Why it is unpredictable? Nested properties were validated automatically if means we don't provided any valid valid annotations over there which sometimes lead to unexpected behavior e spring boot 3.4 changed this by aligning more closely with the bin validation specification now only properties explicitly marked with at the rate valid are validated giving you the better control and predictability so that's why the first key point is that now in a latest release we need to explicitly validations we need to explicitly mention at the rate valid annotation for a class if we not then it will ignore that validation in previous version of it is nested property were validated automatically even without at the rate valid annotation in a latest release spring boot 3.4 validations of nested properties requires explicit at the rate valid annotation in previous versions, developers or anyone who is going to use this one might encounter unexpected validation behavior due to implicit validation of nested properties. In Spring Boot 3.4, validation behavior is more predictable and consistent with the bin validation specification. If we talked about that why this is important, this actually this enhancement makes you validation process better, right? because it's a more predictable only the properties we want to validate will be checked because we are adding the valid annotations over there even the second thing is that easier to manage if we add this annotation explicitly then using the means if we want to see this one then from there we can clear getting about the understanding that of which properties are being validated so this is about the key enhancement in the bin validations for Spring Boot 3.4. In next, what we are going to do, we are going to create the project uh, using this latest release and then we are going to create some application so that we can understand better that how it is behaving and how this enhancement is basically we can apply in real world. Now we will talk about that how we are going to create the project with this la latest release. So for that you need to go in the initializer side. Over there you need to choose the dependency as Maven. And the Spring Boot version you will see the different types of version over here. So you need to choose the 3.4.0 snapshot. Because the, it is not actually released so we need to use this snapshot one. And then the metadata you need to choose over here. And the whatever the Java version you need 23, 21 or the 17. Okay. As a dependencies, we can use this dev tools, Lombok, Spring configuration processor. So this is actually optional dependencies that we can, uh, it's with actually generate the metadata. This actually helps with uh, automatic configuration property metadata configurations. This include the necessary libraries, uh, this one, like this starter web or starter validation is there. Starter starter validation this is bin validator but we can use the starter validation actually starter validator which will basically having the uh, respective uh, libraries for bin validation using hibernate validator so these are the dependencies I am going to use over here you just need to click on the generate and then you need to import it into in your favorite editor so here I am just going to use another actually version that is called the starter this validation okay. 
which will having these different types of like uh, jars or uh, different types of libraries uh, re regarding the bin validation using the hibernate validator okay and after that you need to import into your favorite editor so next what we are going to do we are going to like uh, create one applications where we need to demonstrate that how these validations enhance men's validation actually available in this spring boot 3.4 so now here we are going to create one package over here then we need to create uh, one configuration class so let's say the package name would be new package and then we need to add this config okay so here let's say we can create one app config class which will be basically having the configurations kind of things so here if you see this so this particular configurations class actually having this configurations properties which is having this prefix equals to app means whatever the properties we need to add that should be started with this app will be what the properties actually are start with this app we will be picked by this and here we have add this validate annotation and here we have created this nested config so in the like uh, previous version of it is like in the before this one like if we want to validate this then here if you see that we have not added this valid annotation but still it will be validate by previous version of this spring boot 3 spring boot 3.4 but now like in this spring boot 3.4 enhancement the validation behavior has been enhanced to closely follow the bin validation specification validations of nested properties now only occurs if the field is explicitly annotated with at the rate valid this makes the validation behavior more predictable and consistent with the developer intent right so now actually we need to annotate this particular nested class with at the rate valid annotation right okay now we need to add some kind of the getter and setter so instead of creating those manually we can't use the annotations that is lombok annotation getter and setter okay so now what next we need to do so we need have added this annotations valid annotation in the nested config to ensure that the nested properties are validated right so here also we have added some this annotations okay now here what difference we see from the previous version so in the explicitly we need to add this at the rate valid annotation in previous version nested properties are validated automatically if we are adding or not without this also those will be validated right so in the previous versions everyone might get confused that it should be validated or not but in this spring boot 3.4 the validations behavior is more predictable and consistent with the bin validation specification okay so now basically we need to register this particular bin into the main applications so how we are going to register this one we just need to add one annotation in a main class this is the main actually class this is the entry point so here we need to add this annotation enable configuration properties and here we need to pass this app config right so it actually enabling the validations when we register the configuration properties bin with annotation like this and also we have used this at the rate validated over here like this it ensure that spring boot performs validations on the properties this helps each as the configurations error early in the application's life cycle ensuring that only valid configurations are used and next what we are going to do over here we need to add some properties in a properties application dot properties file right like here like app dot nested config dot nested property or maybe we can also give some name like app dot name something like that this one okay so these two properties we have added over here if you see that name and 
this is the nested property so this nested property actually this is the nested property like this nested hyphen config then nested property right so this is actually also the sub one also we have added these two properties we have added the name and the nested property okay now next we need to create the controller from where we will access this configuration so now I have created one new controller over here just to demonstrate that what for what we are trying to achieve over here the using the enhancement feature of the bin validation so for that we are just doing only one gate API the gate configurations the gate mapping we have used what it will return it will just return this app config details and this app config contains actually this name and the means some properties details so whatever the once we are going to call this API then it will just return some values and where from where it will read the values it will read the values from the properties file right so currently we have provided all the values so that's why it should we are expecting that it will be return the values properly because currently all the values are over there in next so now we can start this application just to check that it is working fine or not so how we are going to start this application run as Java application so using this we can start this application it will not take much time it will start very soon once it will start then from the browser we will hit this one and we will get the data if you see that application got started now we can check just to hit this API whatever the API you have created this get API then we will see these values will come so already like I've started this applications over here and added this getter setter over here so after starting this application if you see in the properties file we have already defining this property correct and then we just need to like check from the browser because we have already created one controller over here request mapping and the gate mapping so from the controller we just need to call this API app and configs then we need to see that the properties are coming or not so if you see here we are getting the name and the nested config property is a valid property right so this property we have defined over in the properties file the nested config and the nested property now let's say if we remove this property because we have added this valid annotations under this nested class for this app configuration classes previously if you are not going to use this at there is valid annotation then it is also was actually valid these things but currently we have added this valid annotation then only it will valid let's say we have now removed this properties from over here now if you see that once it will actually going to start this application means it's trying to bind this property then it's throwing this exception because the values actually is not able to set the value is a null so that's why the reason is nested property must not be null because in the app config if you see over here it's, it should be the not null properties we have added this not null annotation so here the message is the nested property must not be null so this message we are getting while it's trying to start this application why you are getting because we have added this valid annotation now if we remove this valid annotation then it actually ignored the validation if you see the application got start correctly and again if you actually this see then if you see that property is coming as a null because it's actually ignoring the validation as we have already like if we have not using the valid annotation but if we use this valid annotation then on the runtime while it's trying to start the application while trying to bind this one then actually it's giving us the message that nested property must not be null so this enhancement actually done under this spring boot 3.4 so this is the thing if we open this one then it will basically start the application successfully if you see there is a no error and the application got started successfully because the properties is now available and it will suffice this not null properties and if you check from the browser then it's uh, actually we are getting the nested property details so in this way we can see this is the enhance in enhancement actually of this uh, configuration properties validation bin validation properties just to summarize the points in this example what we have shown how to define configuration properties with validation configuration register the configuration properties in a main applications like as I we have registered this one right and uh, then create a controller to access the validated configuration properties 
observe validation behavior with the enhanced bin validation support in Spring Boot 3.4. This setup ensures that nested properties are only validated when explicitly annotated with at the rate valid, providing more predictable and consistent validation behavior. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Spring Boot 3.4 enhancement of bin validation. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking the video, sharing it with others who might get help and subscri subscribing to my channel for more in-depth tutorial. Feel free to leave any questions, feedback or suggestions in the comment below. See you in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.